How are you? Good, how are you? Ben Crane. Tom Murdoch. Nice Hi, I'm from Mafia. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Can I take a seat? Yeah, please. Thank you. Um, I just briefly talked to your secretary and she said you had about 10 minutes to meet today? Yeah, yeah, just 10 minutes, unfortunately. All right. Um, should anyone else be in the room with us today? Uh, no, just me for today. Okay. Um, well, first off, I'd like to give you my business card. Thank you. Um, and also, uh, how's your week going so far? It's been all right. It's been a little bit hectic this yeah. week. Um, but, you know, I think everybody can say that over their jobs. Definitely so. busy. Especially a busy time for the holidays, too. You yeah, want to exactly. get everything done, right? Exactly, exactly. All right. Well, since we only have 10 minutes, I want to get started. Um, so, can you tell me a little bit about the consultant that recommended you to Acquia? Yeah, sure. Um, so, Lightweight Consulting's been with us for years. Uh, we use them for a whole host of uh, uh, consulting needs, but basically they're a company that we go to when we're uh, when we know we need to purchase something, whether it's a technology, whether it's a uh, services organization, and they help us kind of narrow down the, the list of vendors that we should look at. Okay, perfect. Um, so yeah, we went out to them, we uh, spent a little bit of time talking with them about what was going on, and they kind of narrowed down the list of um, companies that we should look at, and uh, you guys were on the list, so I went to the website, I kind of checked out a little bit about you guys, and mm -hmm. filled in a form, and here we are. Now we are. All right. Um, also, can I, do you mind if I take notes during this? Yeah, of course. Okay, thank you. Um, is it all right if I ask you a couple questions about SPO just so I can learn more about it? Sure. All right. Um, so why did your company um, specifically come to Acquia? Yeah. Well, Lightweight was a big reason, but, okay. um, you know, they kind of pointed us to you uh, as a company that might be able to help us. but. Um, the reason that, w that we were looking for help in the first place. Yes. Um, so, you know, we, um, as, a, as an online news publication, mm -hmm. um, a lot of our, uh, pretty much all of our revenue is coming, is being driven by um, getting people to our website. Okay. Um, so, you know, traffic to the website um, in terms of page views, uh, unique visitors, uh, the amount of time an individual is spending on our site. These are some really key metrics for us okay. uh, to help us drive advertising sales uh, as well as drive uh, subscription sales to our premium content. Okay. And what we've noticed uh, over the past few months and even the past couple of quarters is uh, we've slowly been trending down with all of those numbers. Okay. Um, which has, you know, uh, consequently driven down advertising sales and subscription sales. So we've obviously got a, kind of a bad thing going on and we're trying okay. to figure out a way to uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so you talk about these uh, numbers going down. What do you think is one of the main reasons these numbers are going down? Would you say that has to do with current competition in the marketplace? Yeah, that's that's definitely a, a big reason. And we've okay. done some surveys of the market, and and the biggest piece of data that we're getting back is um, individuals that are interested in reading about uh, sports are no longer coming to us, uh, even though we're considered kind of the global leader. And, in online sports news. Okay. Um, instead of coming to us, they're now going to more local, regional websites that are focused specifically on that uh, region's sports teams. Okay. So now we have, you know, people in Boston are going to uh, the, the local Boston site because they want to learn about what's going on with the Boston teams. Same okay. thing's happening in Chicago and LA and Dallas. Uh, and they're not coming to our site um, because they have to hunt around for information about their teams um, okay. so it's not really readily available to them. So you think that this has to do with the lower viewership rates and also subscription rates is people going to more regionally like personal con contact to them? Yeah exactly so we, we think they're going to those sites because they want to get uh, they want to read articles and they want to see content and watch videos about their local teams. Even not, though you guys have some of, I read the best journalism. Yeah, exactly. But they're still shying away from your content and going to more regional, is that correct? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of our, you know, the research that our journalists are doing, uh, the work our journalists are doing is, uh, you know, if you don't make it on that front page of the website, yeah, people aren't really re reading your stuff. You Especially know. with the competition out there. It's so easy to click to a different page. Yeah, exactly. You know, different yeah. website. Exactly. Okay. So that's the problem we're up against right now. All right, so um, from where SPO is right now, where do you guys want to see yourself, say, six months, a year from now? Yeah, good question. So six months from now, we'd love to have stopped the bleeding and started, <laughs> to, started to trend back back upwards. Okay. Um, so, you know, we're in a really precarious spot right now, and we've got to kind of stop this, uh, we've got to stop what's going on right now. And okay. then, you know, within a year, we'd like to be back where we were six months ago and start and trending, trending back up. Okay. 
So after hearing about your company, um, I can see that you guys are having decrease in viewership pages, also just decrease in subscriptions. Um, you guys are losing market share to different competitors, is that correct? Yep, that's a good summary. Okay, um, well, I think that Aquia Lift could really solve a lot of these problems. Would you mind hearing about it? Yeah, yeah, I'd like to, yeah. Okay, so Aquia Lift is a digital platform that will customize content to your viewers. So what Aquia Lift will do is it will track their history. So say they come to your page and they say, they look at Patriots. The next time they come to our, your page, the first thing that's gonna pop up is the newest drafts from Patriots. So it's preferred content that they really want to see and the things that they're really interested in. So what Aquia Lift can do is it's going to have your um, viewers come to your site, stay on your site longer, and also they're going to come back, which is the most important thing because they can come to your site one day, not be back the other day. You want that viewer to keep coming back and subscribe to your website. So, um, and this will all alternately lead to, you know, creating more revenue, you know, getting more advertising dollars because people are coming to your site, your numbers are up, people are going to want to advertise on your site and leading to more of a return on your investment if you were to implement Aquia Lift. Sure, yeah, that makes sense. Do you have any questions for Aquia? Yeah, I mean, obviously this is uh, something that we just kind of found out about. It's not a budgeted um, expense for us. Definitely. Um, it's something that we haven't really planned for. so. I've got to have some sort of a range that so mm -hmm. I should kind of go back to my, my team, my boss, and, and his boss to, to talk about. Definitely. That's a concern for all companies. Um, really, it depends on the traffic of your website and what you really want to do with Lyft. So, really, the site could go from 30000 to $300,000. You know, it really depends. We'd really have to look at what you want to do and how much traffic is coming on. But most importantly, it's about how much you want to get on your return investment. What's a number that your company is looking for? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, you know, typically when we purchase something like this, we're looking for you know at least a five x return on Definitely. the dollars that we've spent. Definitely. You know, and Aqua Lift has done that for many companies. So that's a definitely a number that we can work with with your company and um, get a price for you later on if you want to implement Lift. Gotcha. Um, you mentioned some other companies. Do you have any um, any examples? Obviously, I, I'd like to be able to show prior success. Yeah, definitely. Um, Elle Magazine, a pretty popular magazine, they implemented Lyft, and after implementing it, they saw a 20% increase in page views, which is, is in, um, page views is one, one of your concerns that you had. Yeah. So, you know, seeing that increase of 20% is really nice. Yeah. Um, so, Toronto Magazine also saw a 4x increase in subscriptions. Another concern that SPO was looking at was subscriptions. Another company saw an increase in those numbers. Oh, that's great. Um, and, you know, my last question would be, um, obviously, you know, we have a really small web team here. It's, yes. it's just a, a couple of us, so uh, we're, we're concerned about uh, how much uh, time it's going to take us to fix this problem. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for kind of the path of least resistance here. Yes. Um, a lot of people ask that. And the answer is great. It's going to take two to three days to implement Aquia Lift. What we do is we bring our engineers in, we sit side by side with you, and we teach you this is how you do this, this is how you do that. If this happens, you do this. They're side by side the whole way so that you know what you're doing. Pretty much training sessions. So, you know, we're not just selling you this and saying, all right, bye, like have a, have a fun time trying to figure it out. Yeah. We'll be with you side by side, you know, implementing this lift. So you can just start seeing your return on your investment very quickly. Cool, that's great. So um, if you're interested in this, I would love to set up another meeting with someone who kind of has a final decision with this. Yeah. So how does that sound? Yeah, that, that's great. I can definitely bring in, um, I'll probably bring in my, my boss um, who, is, who runs digital uh, for kind of digital strategy for us. That would be great. And he would be the next guy to kind of help us. Figure definitely. Out. I could come in and I could also bring my IT guys and we could show you a demo of Lyft if you're interested in purchasing it. Perfect. Yeah, let's do that. All right, thank you very much for meeting. All right, it was really nice to meet you. All right, thank you. All right, thanks. Good job. Bye. Yeah, we can give you some.